Hi there and welcome to Hegarty Maths. It's Mr. Arnold here and this is the second video on logarithms. It's for A-level maths but is applicable to most other exam boards. So we're going to look at the laws of logs in uh, this video and um, what we're going to do is we're going to use the laws of indices and the, rela and the relationships to uh, logs to try and help us derive these laws of logs. The first law that we're going to learn about is this one. Uh, the log um, to some power sorry, the log to some base n of a times b, so the log of a product equals the sum of the individual logs. So log to the base n of a plus log to the base n of b. So let's see if we can derive where this is coming from. So suppose we have some number n and it's raised to some power x and we let that equal an answer a. Well, that would imply that um, log to the base n of a gives me an answer of x. So what power the power of n that gives me an answer of a is x. And then likewise we could say n some number could be raised to a power y which gives me an answer b. Now let's convert that into log form. So the power of n which has an answer of b is going to be y. So we're going to start with that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, what happens if I take n to the power x and we multiply it by n to the power y? Well, that's going to be equal to a times b. n to the power x times n to the power y is going to be a times b. And using the laws of indices, we know that that's n to the power x plus y will give me a result of a, b. So now let's try and convert this line into logarithmic form. So, some power, so at the power of n that has an answer of a, b must equal x plus y. The power of n that has an answer of a, b is x plus y. That's what we're saying here converting it into log form. But we know that x is actually equal to log of n a. So x, the x is the same as this. Let's just highlight that so we can see clearly. The x is the same as this. So log the base n of a and the trying to get a different colour, and the y is the same as this, which is log to the base n of b. So that means the rule is proved log to the base n of a times b equals log to the base n of a plus log to the base n of b. So that's the first rule. Let's go for the second rule. So, so if we try and take the log of a over b, we get log of a minus log of b. So let's start in much the same way that we did the last time by saying, well, if I have a number and I raise it to a power of x and I let that be equal to a, let's rewrite that in log form. That means that log to the base n of a will give me an answer of x. So the power of n that gives me an answer of a is x. And likewise, if I have n and I raise it to some power of y, and that's gonna, I'm gonna let that equal b. Now what we're gonna do is rewrite this in log form. So the power of n that has an answer of b is going to be equal to y. Okay, so let's see what happens if we use the division rule for indices. So if I do n to the power x, divided by n to the power y, that's going to equal to n to the power x minus y. So n to the power of x divided by n to the power of y is going to be the same as a, because n to the power of x is a, divided by n to the power of y, which is b. a over b. Okay, now let's rewrite this 
that should be a Y, not a B. Let's just make sure that that's clear. Um, so now let's rewrite uh, this last line using logs. So log to the base n. So the power of n. Power of n, that gives me an answer of a over b. Must equal x take away y. So we're using the fact that we can convert between logs and exponentials to rewrite this. But remember, we know what x is. x, x is the same as log to the base n of a. So instead of writing x, I'm going to write it as log to the base n of a. And I'm going to take away y. Well, y is the same as log to the base n of b. Log to the base n of b. And hence, we've proved the rule. So log to the base n of a over b is equal to log to the base n of a. Take away log to the base n of b. All right, we've got one more rule to prove. You might even want to have a go at this yourself. We've got log to the base n of a to the power m is m times log to the base n of a. So if I have a log to the power m, it's, we can bring the power down in front and multiply by log to the base n of a. Right, so we're going to suppose, um, suppose that um, n is raised to some power n is raised to some power x and that gives me an answer of a and rewriting that in log form that means that log to the base n of a is going to give me x so the power of n that gives me an answer of a is x okay now what we're going to do is take our n to the power x and what we're going to do is we're going to raise that to some power m I'm going to raise that to some power m. Well, that's going to be equal to, that's going to be equal to what we had a, a to the power m, like so. So let's use the laws of indices here. So if we have a power to a power, we multiply the powers. So we get n, let's try and that a little bit neater n to the power of m times x is going to equal a to the power m okay now let's rewrite this using logs so the power of n power of n power of n that gives me an answer of a to the power m is going to be equal to m times x, which implies that log to the base n of a to the power m is equal to, well, x we already know. x is the same as log to the base n of a. So the x is the same as log to the base n of a. Log to the base n of a and hence we can see log to the base n of a to some power m is the same as m times log to the base n of a. So there's the three main rules that we're going to have to use. Um, now let's see how we put them into practice. So all of these problems we're going to do without a calculator. I've just written the rules up here so you can have a visual reference. Let's see if we can do the first one. Um, log to the base a of 4 plus log to the base a of 7. So I'm adding them together, so it's this rule. Well, it's the same as the product. That's going to equal log to the base a of 4 times 7, which is going to be log to the base a of 28. Let's have a look at the next one. Subtraction. So we're looking at this rule here. Log to the base n of a minus log to the base n of b. It's going to be the same as log to the base a, which you have an equal sign there, of 10 over 5, which is going to equal log to the base a of 10 divided by 5, 2. 
third example, 2 log to the base a of 6. So something like this, so I've got a number in front of the log, so I can bring it up and make it a power. So that's going to be the same as log to the base a of 6, and the 2 can come up and become 6 squared like so, which is going to be the same as log to the base a and 6 squared, 36. Okay, example 4. A little bit more tricky here. I want to rewrite this as a single uh, logarithm. I'm going to have to have a little bit of thinking going on here. Well, uh, 2 and 16 are related. Let me show you how they're related. Uh, 16 can be written as 2 to the power 4. 2, 4, 8, 16. So 2 to the power 4, like so. And I need to add to that log to the base 3 of 27. Well, 3 and 27 are related because 3 cubed is 27. So what I've done is, instead of having 16, I know that's the same as 2 to the power 4. And 27, 27 is actually the same as 3 to the power 3. Now what we're going to do is use the power rule. So, the 4 can come down in front. 4 log to the base 2 of 2 plus, and then the 3 can come in front here, 3 times log to the base 3 of 3. Okay, let's just look at this here. So it's 4 times log to the base 2 of 2. Now you might remember this from the previous video. What power of 2 gives me an answer of 2? power of 2 that gives me an answer of 2 is 1. So log to the base 2 of 2 is 1. Plus 3 times, and what power of 3 gives an answer of 3? It must be 1. And that just gives us another result that we might be interested in. Log to the base n of n. So if, if I have, if the, the number inside the log and the base of the log are the same, it's always equal to 1. So we've got 4 plus 3, which is 7. Okay, so we're going to leave it at that for this video. Uh, hopefully you found it useful. I'll be back again with another video soon where we do change of base. Uh, all the best and take it easy.